Good morning, my name is Ben Sostrom, and this morning I'm going to show you a little about how to wire a furnace blower, 110 volts alternating current. Alright, so this is a furnace blower of an old furnace, and it's still fully functional and works good. And so I'm just going to use it as a demonstration so that you can see everything really well. But this is very typical of most, most people have a, a squirrel cage blower just like this inside of their furnace and so I'm going to show you how to, how the wiring works on it so if you were to replace the motor you can kind of see um, what you would need to do. So here are the four wires that are coming from the blower motor itself we have a, well, let's put them in this order here we have a red or a white wire and that is our neutral so that will always be connected to your neutral line from your 115 or 120 volt um, power supply, so that's your neutral. And then these three wires, if you put power um, from your um, from your line leg or your the leg that's got the voltage on it, if you put power to any one of these, it will make the motor run. The only di the difference is that um, depending on which one you connect it to, it changes the speed at which the motor runs. So if you have your neutral connected here and your power connected here, um, you're going to be running on high speed. Black is for the fastest speed for most motors. Almost all motors have the same color color scheme, but uh, once in a while they can be a little different. So we've got um, black, which is the high speed, and I believe blue is the middle speed, and red is the slowest speed for this particular motor. So we're going to go ahead and test that. I have a cord here that I, it's not plugged in right now, obviously. It's just a little drop cord. And uh, I'm going to hook that up. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and plug it in here. And we're going to see what, what it sounds like. You should be able to tell by the sound which, what speed we're running. So here we go. Now we have blue hooked up to our voltage line, alright? You should always be, it's probably not the safest method of doing this, but it's the way we do it in the country. Here's the blue. And we'll go ahead and plug that in. You can hear how much slower that is from the first one. So that's what those four wires do coming from the motor. So white is your neutral, black is high speed, blue is medium, and red is slow. If you were going to be wiring up a fan like this one and uh, you wanted to just have a little drop cord like I have, you would want to take your ground wire and ground it onto the, the wall of the blower um, just for safety. And so that there is a path to ground if there were to be a short in the motor or an, a short otherwise it would be much safer to have a ground attached here. Now we're going to look at we have um, these brown wires that are also coming from the motor and they lead to this which is called a capacitor. Now capacitors are basically a, a little device that stores a very brief charge of energy that helps the motor to start. So we covered pretty much all these wires. The, we covered the brown ones, which go to the capacitor. The red, white, black, and blue, we've covered all those. And then we have these two more wires coming out of here. And uh, some motors have these, some motors don't. Most of the motors that are replacement motors have them. And what they do is you can switch this terminal with this terminal to change the direction of the fan. So that is how the wiring works on your blower.